Now here, the, the Earth station sends the signal to the satellite, and that this one is nothing but a command system is present on the Earth station or a Earth, so that which over the health information of the satellite that will be transmitted from the satellite to the Earth. Then Earth station decodes which are the health parameters of the satellite, and then they will decide which of the action is to be taken on the parameter of the particular satellite. So computer program, this one is everything. Command system is nothing but a computer program system, and they generate some particular command. And that command is sent to the satellite. Means command transmitter sends some particular command signal or a command word to the satellite. That is nothing but a uplink signal. We say because whichever the signal is generated, that will be modulated and converting to the given respective particular frequency of the satellite. And then transmitting, and then satellite receives the signal. Then they will correct. Now, a command system is just like receive the health information of the satellite, and then according to the health information, a command processor here on a earth station. According to the whatever the health information is there, that will be decoded by the command processor or a computer control system, and they will generate particular command according to the health information. Once that commands are prepared or that word control words are generated, then command transmitter sends that command words to the satellite. After modulation and converting to the particular um, up conversion, there. and then transmit to the satellite. Then a satellite received the command word, then process which of the command word received by the satellite or that command word sent by the Earth station, and then process that particular command. Then the processor inside the satellite that will prepare for the controlling the signals to be operate that particular switches or relays or a motor or a jet set means that information is nothing but what to control that relays or particular control that particular motors or we can say that that will be nothing but Is some particular switches there, or or we can say that that is nothing but some particular thrusters or a jet for the given particular position. That is about the command information. Then processor prepare that particular control signal to operate those particular switches, relays, or motors or a jet, and that processor will not apply directly. That signal to the uh, that which are the we have the switches and the relays or the motor there. So then, the whatever the control signals are generated, that control signals are not applied directly there. Then, which are the received signal or received command by the satellite? That will resend to the Earth station, and verifying that whether that particular received signal by the which was the command word that sent to the satellite, and that command word which will be which was received by the satellite, that will resend back, send back to the Earth station through the telemetry channel for verifying. Then Earth system. On the earth station, 
they have the computer or the command system they will verify the command word if that very that verified commands are correct one and then send the execute command to the satellite and once the satellite received the execute command then the satellite will executing or controlling those particular system there because what happen sometimes another in another command system another earth station command system can be received by the satellite so that's why that verification is required regarding that execution of that particular control signal some malicious or we can say that is spurious signal received by the satellite so that's why that will not damage the position of the satellite so that's why it is to be verified so so which of the command sent by the earth station they are encrypted and they will send to the satellite and satellite decrypt that particular command and then controlling action is to be taken that is about your telemetry tracking and command system in a satellite they have the power subsystem power subsystem means what if you see that a satellite is depending upon a solar radiation so whatever the solar radiation on the solar panel okay if it is a geostationary satellite there will be a more solar pressure and then there will be large solar radiation or large intensity on this particular satellite and that solar radiation intensity on this particular geo super geo satellite that will be of 1.39 kilowatt per meter square and that particular radiation is converted into the electrical energy and generally that solar panel will work with the efficiency of a 20 to 25 degree or sorry 25 to 25 percentage but if that solar radiation will fall perpendicular to the solar panel then that much power will be generated if that sun rays will fall with some particular angle theta or we can say that oblique here instead of perpendicular okay if it is fall oblique with an angle theta then that power generation is depending upon that what will be the efficiency of that solar panel then 13901 factor into cos of theta and this one is theta is nothing but the efficiency of solar cell so initially the efficiency of a solar cell will be 20 to 25% but solar cell efficiency degrades that when the life of the solar that uh, that satellite it reduces that then efficiency again degrade so at the end life of the satellite means we can say that when the satellite is to be decommissioned from this particular space or particular orbit in that case that efficiency of solar panel was 10 to 15 percent means at the end life of a satellite but at the beginning it will be 20 to 25 percent but at the end of the life it will be of a 20 15 percent of the efficiency so we should know that the efficiency of the satellite at the beginning of a life and at the end of a life so end of a life it after 15 years so satellite will not work if the sun rays are fall in a oblique in nature in that case 
the full power is not generated so some of the ray strikes on the surface with an angle theta and then the power will be generated that will be is equal to the p is equal to eta into 1390 cos of theta there so that is about a total power required by the satellite it is depending upon that what will be the solar panel size or what will be the area of that particular solar panel array and that much power is generated but sometimes some that is a power generated due to the solar panel but during the eclipse during the eclipse that power is not generated by the solar panels so satellite is not able to work with that particular output power so that's why the satellite is need to generate that much output power okay that is about whatever the p out that is to be generated using the whatever the battery or a storage element they have so means output power is to be generated whenever the solar panels are not used so inside the satellite some rechargeable batteries are there they are using the nickel cadmium or a nickel hydrogen and they are used for the we can say that they are used for the charging the rechargeable batteries they are using the storing the energy okay so that storage is sufficient to generate that much power required by the satellite if suppose to be that battery is not generate that particular power So in that case, some of the components to be switched off, and that in that particular case, only the the few components to be switched on, and that communication is to be takes place. So here it is in a oblique nature. If the power generated by the solar panel. if that rays fall perpendicular or normal to the sun sun rays here in that case we can say that power will be generated that is 2780 efficiency with respect to the given area and that is nothing but efficiency in that case we have the solar panels likewise and that rays are fall on this given solar panel that will be in a perpendicular in nature means theta will be 90 degree so in that case 2780 eta in your a is the area here so there are the solar arrays are there and that solar arrays are used for the charging or a discharging of the storage batteries or some power conditioner circuits are used and that will give the power to the satellite there so generally a power system in a three axis stabilized system they have a solar cell array we say generally it has a array 1 array 2 there and they have the charging mechanism and a discharging mechanism here charge or a discharge of this particular we require regulator for the whatever the storage battery then we have the power conditioner there and then a power bus so this one is about a power system in a three axis stabilized satellite
Now, if you see here, we have the solar panels, you say, and that solar panel is used to functioning of the charging and discharging of the batteries whenever necessary. And that is about a power system of a three axis stabilized satellite. That is called as a power subsystem. Then, a thermal subsystem. So, in a thermal system, subsystem, what happens? When the satellite rotating around the earth, okay, this is about we can say earth. So, what happens? That solar panels present on the satellite, they experience a pressure on this particular solar panel or some portion of that satellite will be towards the sun and that particular portion experiences a temperature variation okay. because in front of the sun some of the portion will be there that will be get heated more so there will be large temperature body temperature on that particular satellite particular uh, that will be facing towards the sun okay whichever the body parts are facing towards the sun they experience a large temperature there okay means they get heated more and those portion of the satellite they are backside of that particular okay backside they are facing or they are experiencing the cold there so for that purpose we need to use a thermal blanket or we can say that a thermal shield or we can say that we use a heat pipe because whichever the portion is in front of the satellite that will get heated so that heat is to be transmitter transferred to the back side of the satellite component so that's why the heat pipes are used or we use or we can use a optical surface reflector or a thermal heater for the cold portion because means suppose if you consider that the satellite is in a cylindrical shape so this portion front portion will be in heated and back portion is not get heated so that's why in a thermal subsystem so we require some method to control the temperature so that's why we can say that there are the two types of it thermal control system that is about a active and a passive thermal control system so in the case of a active method we are using the heater heat pipes shutters or refrigerator or a thermoelectric device to control the heat and a passive method that is you can use a shields or you can use a paints and surface there or a multi-layer installation insulation or you can say that a isolation or we can say that we can use the heat sink on the thermal substance that is about a passive method so generally we say that a satellite when we say that it is rotating around the earth so if it is a spin stabilized one so likewise this one is about a satellite position and this is about a telemetric command or telemetric command antenna or this one is about the antenna reflection here these are about the antenna feeds this one is about a t-spin mechanism because a satellite is rotating so in that case that they have the this cylindrical portion is rotating but that antenna is not to be rotated that's why they have the t-spin mechanism means if it is a satellite is rotating in this direction so antenna system will work in the reverse direction so they have the thermal radiator control thruster there propellant tank then apogee kick motors here we have the solar cells here then battery backup here okay traveling to your amplifier then this one mechanism here and that type of a mechanism is present in the satellite so that will 
provide the satellite to be in the given particular position there. So now that is about this one is about a cylindrical structure of a satellite. So that's why we are saying a satellite structure is more important. Okay, so that is about again another topic is about a satellite structure. Why satellite structure is important? Because the subsystem components are present in a satellite. Just like if you consider that a cylindrical satellite. Now this portion is a folded one. Okay, this particular antenna is a folded one. Only telemetry antenna is present before with a launching there. And that will provide the information regarding the orbit and all. So this everything is folded, even that if it is not a cylindrical one, so that solar, solar panels are folded with a structure. So then that structure is to be designed in such a way that that will occupy the minimum volume during the launching. If the structure is a cylindrical in shape, in a spin stabilized satellite, so in that case that antenna will be in a folded or if it is in a three axis stabilized satellite, that solar panel to be folded there and antenna is to be folded. So in a cylindrical structure, if you see that solar panels are present, okay, that is on the curved surface of the cylindrical structure of a spin stabilized satellite. So means to your body or everything that platform is a fix, okay, main body is a fixed one, only this one is rotating here. Because main body is rotating opposite direction to this particular cylindrical structure. So that is about a spin stabilized satellite. But in the case of a body stabilized satellite, so all the electronic structures, they will be packaged inside and at the time of a launching and once the satellite is launched, then they will be that uh, antenna, that solar panels to be coming out from the satellite and then they will work. And this solar, solar panels to be fixed to the given particular face to the, uh, that is about the sun or that position of that particular antenna is to be aligned in such a way that that will transmit the signal to the given direction. So that is nothing but a structure, satellite structure that is we can say that is about a, all these solar panels or we can say that antenna they are in a folded one and they will be fixed the position once it is launched the satellite in the given orbit then fix the position of the solar panels and the antenna there. If they are folding so that's why that structure will be a minimum at the time of a launching. And they can be separated after the launching. Okay, that is about a satellite structure. And then a reliability or a quality, we can say that reliability of the given component means we say that a lifespan of the satellite is about 10 to 15 years. So in that case, a satellite will work for the 10 to 15 years from the launching to the commissioning, okay, and toward the end of the life. So even if at the supposed to be during launching, suppose the satellite encounters some vibration or a mechanical shock, or acoustic noise or some pressure variations or acceleration even if all these factors during a launch the satellite is to work efficiently with for a given particular period that is for the 10 to 15 year year there 
when the satellite is in orbit there may be there may be that satellite may experience forces gravitational forces or they may experiences a temperature variations or they may experience say the radiation at a different levels there so during the entire mission of, or during the entire life of the satellite the satellite is expected to perform or give the the performance or efficiency throughout the life and sometimes some components fail so then that particular component is to be removed and then standby component is to be used so that efficiency or reliability of a satellite is depending upon that how your satellite work efficiently without any failure or we can say that reliability it is nothing but a probability of the system performs with a specific specification under the given condition under the condition means what thermal vibration thermal pressures or any atomic uh, that uh, gravitational forces or anything else disturbance even in that particular condition that satellite will perform efficiently there that's why the reliability is nothing but the probability of a satellite and the probability is depending upon that what will be the life so that's why it is nothing but a time span there so reliability that will be with respect to the time is equal to what a number of whatever the item surviving at instant t to the number of items at t is equal to 0 so reliability that can be related to the failure rate and that failure rate is nothing but that whatever the average number of a failure occur in a given particular time t okay so that's why the failure rate is equal to what number of items failing in a unit time at a instant t to the total number of items surviving in a particular okay particular instant at t here so that's why we can find out the mean time between failure is nothing but the average time between the failures of that particular unit when a last system component is to be used so that is nothing but the mean time between failure and that will be depending upon that failure rate that is 1 by lambda and lambda is nothing but a failure rate suppose if you consider that the failure rate is supposed to be 200 hour okay failure rate means we can say that without failure your satellite will work for the 200 hours and after that it will fail so mean time between failure is nothing but what a 200 hour so we should know that what will be the failure rate and according to that we can find out what will be the mean time between the failure similarly we can calculate that mean time to failure and that mean time to failure means what mean time to failure means what that mean time before a failure occurs so in stop mean time between failures we can find out the mean time to failure and that mean time to failure is nothing but what that is a mean time before the failure occurs that is about the mean time to failure there so if you if you consider the reliability of the satellite or we can say that a rate reliability rate of the satellite 
with respect to time so that will be exponentially decreases here and this one is nothing but a time and that will be nothing but the reliability you can say that a probability of failure there and this provides that is function of a time or reliability of a satellite that will be function of a time or a failure rate with respect to the time there and that is 